Design. Welcome to Make and Take Tuesday. Look what I have for us today. Uh, my friends at Spellbinder sent this to me in the mail. This is their Santa Lane Christmas kit, and I thought we'd open it up together. This is, I'm excited to see. I've never gotten one of these before. First of all, I love the box. Probably going to save it and find something cool to do with that. And then Oops, I've got it upside down. Let me turn it right side up. There we go. Now you can see it. <laughs> so we're going to open it up. It's wrapped in tissue paper. It's got this cute little sticker. This is like getting an early Christmas present, y'all. Oh, my. Let's see what we got. We've got five by seven card bases. I think these are, they look like five by seven. Let me check. Yes, five by seven card bases and envelopes. We've got A2 card bases and envelopes, and this is really nice paper. This has got like a linen texture to it, and it's, it's a good weight. Then we have, this looks like just a really beautiful foiled ephemera pack. Let's take a peek. It's always fun to open presents, right? So it looks like there's two of each design. Oh, this is sweet. There's little sentiments. Look at these little houses, little postcards, wreaths, bows. Oh, look at the little deer. That is so sweet. Candy canes, snowflakes. Oh my goodness. All kinds of really cute really really cute and it looks like it's going to be a red green and black color palette just like traditional christmas which is nice i'm going to take these and i'm going to put these in this little bowl my son turned this he's deep root 77 on instagram and he turned this little bowl for me all right then look there's another pack these look like sentiment ephemera this looks like it's all sentiments. I won't open this up, but you can kind of see. And then look at these really pretty crystals. These are beautiful, these gems. There's like a pale green, the red, kind of a rose gold, and a clear. Oh, I love the uh, sentiment, the, the font. And our sweet little deer. These are stickers, dimensional stickers. Wow, this is a great, this is amazing. And then this is, I think, more clear stamps. Or st oh no, these are like uh, resin, resin stickers. Those are cute. These great puffy words. A whole bunch of snowflakes and stars. This looks like... Um, Double stick tape and foam adhesive. Wow, there's even dyes in here, y'all. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to bring in my magnetic sheet so we can take a peek. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. Do you like it when I open up something like this, like a collection, and share all the bits and bobs? I'm guessing this is a Santa Claus. Yeah, because I can see like his hat and there's his trousers, maybe snowflake pieces. There's his face, some little wintry swirls. Not sure what that is, but we'll find out. That looks like a chimney, his sleigh. Oh, see, I think these go with this. So like his... I don't know, his sack of toys with the bows. So it's a Santa. It's a really cute Santa. Well, that's cute. Lots of neat little pieces there. And then here's the paper pack. Oh, look. Duh. This tells everything that's in here. There's 13 A2 cards and envelopes, 12 5x7 cards and 12 envelopes, 14 sheets of cardstock, four sheets of foil paper, a paper pad, clear stamps, 15 dies, Die cut shapes, die cut sentiments, dimensional embell embellishments, chipboard embellishments, red glitter alphabet, that would be this, some sequins, 
we saw the gemstones, we saw the puffy stickers, the puffy sentiments, foam squares, adhesive tape. So here's the paper pad. This is loaded, y'all. This is fun. Yeah, this is that great... It's traditional, but there's just a hint of modern in it with the touch of purpley blue. Wow, this is pretty paper. Look at these great stripes, foil accents, Christmas trees, great gingham. I love gingham at Christmas. These beautiful foiled stars. Um, a sentiment, nice text page. Really beautiful floral corners. Just nice stripes. Stripes always come in handy. Micro dot pattern. Foliage. Ooh, I like the music notes. That's nice. I hope y'all are seeing all of this. Let me make sure. Yeah. And then this gold foil. Sometimes gold foil is hard to pick up, but these are gold foil foliage. And there's little tiny gold foil berries. A little polka dot page with red. Ooh, these really pretty floral arrangements. This really nice tartan plaid. Oh, look at the cute little houses. That's adorable. Green tartan plaid. Wow, there's a lot of patterns in here. These, another floral. I love the wood grain. This is a neat shade of green. You don't usually see this with Christmas. It's really fresh. Another text page. And there we are at the back cover. And then this is the card stock that comes with. You can see right off the way, I'm going to blind you with the silver foil. There's silver, two sheets of silver, two sheets of gold. Then we have white, we have two sheets of black, two sh uh, no, one sheet of black, one sheet of brown, one sheet of coral, this soft, soft pink. Ooh, orange is interesting. Uh, kind of a Merlot and a red, a couple of reds. Traditional green, blue, light blue, and this softer green. So that is the kit. It's got a lot in it. So let me get things set up. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, guys, I was getting my stuff organized and I thought, you know what? I think I wanna make a little folio. I think I wanna use these five by seven envelopes to make a little folio. So you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, five by seven, and these are actually five and an eighth by seven and a quarter. And what you're gonna do is open one up so that the flap is on the right and then open another one up so that the flap is on the left. And you're gonna tuck this flap inside so that you kind of have a diamond shape in the middle. So here's this flap, here's this flap. And we're just gonna take this and tuck it inside. And once we get all of our pages tucked into one another, We'll go ahead and glue them in place, but you want to leave them unglued at the beginning because you can do this. You can tap everything so that it's even, so that your pages are even. So there's pages one and two. There's pages three and four. Turn this. Here's another flap. Open up this envelope. Tuck this flap inside here. And you can make these as big or as small as you want. Um, since we've got so much paper, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and make a pretty good sized one. And then we can add like fun features to it. This is what we're going to do. So with your last one, tap, kind of tap all your pages into place. And this looks good and even. So here's all our envelopes here. I'm gonna take my glue and put it on this flap. Make sure everything is 
nice and straight and then I'm just going to fold this flap over. And see now we've got like a little spine. And here's our pages. This one I've already glued. So we're going to come in and we're just going to put a little adhesive right here. Now I've seen people use these as pockets. I'm not going to do that. It's such a pain to cut the angles and stuff. We're just going to use these as pages. So I'm just going through very quickly and putting adhesive in there. And even though the envelopes, you know, envelopes are not very heavy, but this ends up being a pretty sturdy little album because we're going to add uh, cardstock over these pages and we're going to add our patterned paper over these. So I'm going to say this is my front. So here we go. Isn't that fun? So that's pretty simple. The next thing I want you to do, I decided to use black and I cut two five and one eighth by seven and one quarter inch pieces of my black card stock. And I'm going to line these up top and bottom. And I don't care if there's a border over here because I'm going to put a, a spine over that anyway. So I'm just putting my adhesive down. So I want to line it up with this outside edge. Just like that. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the same thing on the back. The great thing about these is, I don't know about you, but I have all kinds of envelopes that don't have... You know, you buy them and then you find out that the card you made is two-dimensional. <laughs> it doesn't fit in the envelope. So you have all these, you have all these extra envelopes from uh, card bases and envelopes that you've bought over the years. This is a great way to use those up. So now we've got a front cover and a back cover. All right. Hold on just one sec and we'll do the next step. So I had from the off cut of trimming these to seven and a quarter, I had this piece that is an inch and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And I'm gonna place it on my scoring tool. Make sure I look like I'm in the center here. And I'm gonna score right down the middle. But then I'm gonna come over here where I have these three, where I've got these eighth inch, and I've scored three eighth inch. Do you see that? And what that's going to do is going to allow this to fold nicely, and it's going to accommodate just a little bit of dimension because we've got a little bit of thickness on those pages. So I'm just kind of pleating this almost, and then I'm gonna take my front side and put adhesive on it bring in my folio and line this up right here and then I'm going to come over here and do the back just like that And I'm taking my bone folder and I'm just kind of making that uh, little spine. See how I flattened that out? So look, now we've got this. Oops, and this is why I'm, yeah, and that's the back cover. So that's how that's supposed to be. So that's pretty cool and not hard to do, right? You could make a bunch of these as little photo albums for family members for your family holiday gatherings. Super cute. All right. Now you're gonna cover your inside pages. And for this, you want five by seven and a quarter. I used the two red that came in the kit, and then I pulled out two more black that I had in my stash. So I have red, black, red, black, red, black red, black, all the way through. And that is the cover.
Before we go any further, I want to go ahead and add my ribbon closure to this. This is from the Really Reasonable Ribbon September 2022 Ribbon Club Kit. This is a 3 8 inch wide um, organza with satin edges and there's a pretty gold metallic. I thought this would be beautiful. Uh, the Ribbon Club is actually a Halloween collection, but it looks great. The black looks great with this little folio that we're building. So I'm taking my double stick tape from the kit and I'm laying it, well, I can lay it better than that, I think, across the middle, around the spine, and around the back. And I'm just gonna burnish this down because always with double stick tape, you have to burnish it in place to make sure that it's gonna stay where you want it to stay. And then I'm just gonna start on the front, which let me make sure I'm at the front, yes. I'm gonna leave a piece long enough to tie a bow. And I'm gonna lay this down. Oops. And burnish it. And the reason I do it underneath like this is that having the paper layers on top of it really makes it a much more um, secure. Makes it much more secure. So I'm going to trim this off. I probably made that longer than I really needed to. I'm going to save this probably for a bow on the front. But um, I'd rather cut my ribbon too long than too short because if you cut it too short, you're stuck. There's nothing you can do. Long, too long, you can always trim it. So there's adding the ribbon closure. So for your front cover, I want you to cut a piece of your gold foil into two. This is just a tick over five. So just put it on your cutter. My cutter has, I think, 16th inch marks. Go 1 16th of an inch over five. And then from your patterned paper, pull out that pretty floral that I think is the very first one. It has the corners. And you want to cut four and seven eighths by three and three quarters. And this one is also, I believe, four and seven eighths by three and three quarters. So I want to glue the gingham down first. So I just want this cover to feel really sturdy. And um, the one thing that I don't love about these kits. I love, I love the patterns, I love, you know, all the goodies, but the paper is really about the thickness of printer paper. And I'm just used to working with much thicker paper. I suppose the thickness is nice if you are mailing cards because it would, it would make your card lighter to mail. But I struggle and I feel like I always have to be matting a little extra because the paper is really very thin, but that's just my personal preference. You may not, you may not mind that, but that's just, that's my only thing. I mean, I try to be completely honest with you guys. Um, that's the only thing I don't love about Spellbinders card kits is the thickness of the paper. It's, it's really printer paper is what it is, but pretty printer paper. So save your offcuts. We'll use those somewhere, I'm sure, as a pocket or as a, you know, a little flip or something. So save those. This is your front cover. So when we glue this on, it's going to go right here. See how pretty? It's going to be really pretty. It has a really fun country feel. And you can see why I want to cover up. Already our ribbon is wanting to turn loose. I'm going to go ahead... I am gonna go ahead and glue this down just to keep that ribbon in place. So this is foil on metallic foil on both sides. So I'm I'm using my dries clear, but the double stick adhesive might work better. You can experiment with that and see what you think. I love black, white, and red for Christmas. It's probably my favorite combination. Okay, on the back, 
I kind of did the same thing with this uh, text paper, and this is a scrap of the gingham that I had, and I trimmed these. These, these are both four and seven eighths. This is the same size as the first one, but I cut the six inch by the four and seven eighth by six into two three inch pieces. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put one at the top, just like that. And of course you can decorate yours however you want. I'm just telling you how I did mine in case you're following along. And that, and then this is gonna go right in the middle. It's gonna look really neat. Just like that. Just burnish everything down and glue this on the back of your folio. Pretty neat. There we go. All right, now we're going to start lining our pages. And I'll just tell you very quickly, the width of all our pages is four and seven eighths inches. So on this inside front cover, I want to do a little pocket. So I've got my four and seven eighths by six inch here. Then I trimmed this pretty foil stripe to five and seven eighths by, I wanna say it's three, and scored half inch flaps on the sides and bottom. Trimmed out my corners and this makes our little front pocket. Pretty simple. So this just goes down like this. And this is how you make six by six paper work in a five by seven folio, all right? Of course, you know, you could have used the smaller envelopes, but then you can't really put very big pictures in. On this page, I just took the leftover piece of this stripe, I trimmed it to four and seven eighths inch wide, and I put it at the top. Then beneath that, I took the second piece of the Christmas tree paper and trimmed it to four and seven eighths inches by, looks like four. So I could have gone actually a little bit wider, but I don't mind the black line there because we're gonna do something fun that's gonna make that work. Turn the page. All right, next we're gonna do a little tip-in page. And I discovered something really fun about this paper. If you trim it to a width of four and seven eighths inches, and then you take the off cut and trim it to a width of four and seven eighths inches, you can fill the page. So we're gonna make a little tip in. I've already done the one on the left. I'm gonna show you how to do the one on the right. We're gonna put our header up here, just like that. And before we glue the bottom part down, I want you to take a four and a half by five inch piece of the green cardstock, the dark green from your paper collection that came in your kit. Score a half inch hinge. Center it up and then glue the flap down. And then Place your adhesive on the back of the paper. So it's kind of fun to see how you can take a six by six pad and make it work with a five by seven folio base. So there we go, there's our tippins. And of course you'll come back, you can either use this for pictures I'm gonna leave this blank on the inside for picture and I'm gonna do something on the cover. So turn the page. I've done the same thing here where um, this is going to be a waterfall page. So we're just gonna glue our base pages down. I use that pretty black micro dot that I love.
and I'll just show you the one page and then you can do the other on your own. So put our header down up here. Glue the larger half down at the bottom. Just like that. And then from this sort of um, Merlot paper that's in your kit, I want you to cut it to four and a quarter by four and three quarters. And you're going to score half inch at the top. This is just a simple little two panel waterfall. our adhesive on our little half inch flap and put one center this top flap up with the sides and the bottom and glue it down then lift this and you're just going to repeat it really easy okay it's a little waterfall there and then I cut out four by four squares of this patterned paper to cover the fronts. We'll leave the backs um, blank. So I'll do the same thing on this page. Our next page is gonna be a little hidden pocket page. And we're gonna do this a little differently from how we normally do. I've, instead of putting the short piece up at the top, we're gonna to put the short piece at the bottom. Then we're going to take our six, four, four and seven eighths by six inch piece. Oops. All right, guys, I apologize. My phone died and I didn't realize it until I had done a whole bunch of work. So I'm going to try to backtrack. We were working on this little hidden pocket and I'll just show you, this is how I ended up lining it. I used um, this four and an eighth by four and an eighth panel of this pretty floral. This, I can't remember if I told you this is four and a quarter by eight and a half, but I scored it at four. And then on the inside, I just layered up some scraps to create this little tuck spot, I just put a tiny little bead of glue here and then put my circle over that. So now see, you can move this um, in and out. Actually, this is two panels of scraps that I layered over one another, but you can't even tell. So that's kind of amazing. And then I used another die set. I just wanna show you this very quickly. It's called, um, it's called, holiday cheer winter borders and it's all these neat border pieces you can see i've die cut them along here and i've lined my pocket i've lined where i've joined my papers with them so it looks it doesn't look like the papers were joined over here i created a slash pocket and to do this i cut a hold on i'll tell you this is a five and a half by hold on. yeah so it's a five and a half by six inch piece of this lined patterned paper and then i scored half inch along the bottom half inch along the left side i measured in two inches here and two inches here folded in my sides and cut on the diagonal between those two pencil points and then glued the flaps down so pretty simple I lined, before I glued my slash pocket down, I took a bunch of little scraps and made like a patchwork background here where I had a little gap. I used a little piece of the gold foil to fill that in. This of course is from the little images. This is one of the stickers and here I've just done the corner up. This is a eight and a half by six and three quarter inch piece of red that I found in my scraps. 
And again, these, this is two separate pieces. So I overlapped them in the middle, but then I covered up the joint with my sentiment. These are all from the little ephemera bits. This is, this is two little pieces that I left a gap between and filled in the gap with the snow globe. And then the inside is just blank for photos. So this lives in this slash pocket back here. Um, I did wanna show you, I did a couple more of these beautiful borders using that border set, cutting out of the gold foil. And then here is another one here. Here's a little tuck spot just made by layering up elements. Another little tuck spot here, kind of a fun place for hidden journaling. This is our tip-in page all finished. And you can see how I decorated along the top where that header is. So you cannot even tell that these pages were joined. This just looks like a design element, which is really, really cool. And then this page is our front pocket, which I'll probably just cut some uh, black cardstock and stick it in there. And then here's room for a photo. And of course you've got room for a photo here. And more of these pretty border pieces cut out of the gold foil. Just a little collage bit up here layered up. So that brings us to the front cover. And I die cut the largest Pico Petite circle out of that beautiful um, golden white paper from the paper pad. And I backed it with a white die cut circle just to make it, because this paper is so thin, I really wanted that extra strength there. And then what I did here was I just layered up some of the little stickers, added some of these cute little crystal gems. Here's a chipboard piece. This is a puffy sticker and a chipboard piece. And this is just an ephemera bit up here. So that finishes that off. We're gonna tie our bow for our ribbon closure. I just love how this black ribbon looks with this paper. And I'll trim that down. But right now I wanna add some flowers. I went through my stash. And these are old Prima. I don't even know what collection they came from anymore but I'm gonna put this beautiful big poinsettia down, just like this. I want the word December to show. And then I have this little white that I'm gonna layer on the top here. And I have this little one that I'm gonna layer underneath here. Very, very simple just to create that sort of curve that is so pretty. I thought about adding some gold leaves, but honestly, I really like the way this looks. I don't know that we need them. Um, I may try tucking this in and just see. Well, actually that is pretty, so I'm gonna just put a little right there. Do we need another one? Because there's so much gold, I thought it'd be fun to have these gold leaves. And again, this is just all retired Prima. Yeah. Just to finish it off. All right. I've tied a bow. This is a triple loop with our ribbon. And I've just kind of pulled the loops out from the center. And I'm going to fold the legs back. And here's the knot. I'm going to tuck this up in here. I'm going to pull these holly berries out so I can then come back and rearrange them where I want them to be. But that just kind of finishes this off. Tuck this up in there where exactly where I want it to be. I do love red, gold, white, and black for Christmas. It's just so classically country. It makes me really happy. And this is a beautiful collection. All right, guys. I think we're good. I'm just going to secure things with a little hot glue. And we'll be on our way. 
So there you go. So sweet. This was a fun kit to work with. I've never worked with a kit like this from Spellbinders before. And it was such a good fit with this really reasonable ribbon. Thanks for joining me. I hope you picked up some tips you can use in your own crafty adventures. These would make great little Christmas gifts. So, all right, guys, I'm going to clean up this huge mess, and then I'm going to go get my craft on. Bye. Mm -hmm.